Ariel Hawani at UFC 116 alongside heavyweight star Kane Velasquez just 24 hours away from Saturday night's huge event. And Kane, Dana White said yesterday that you are going to face the winner of this card. I'm just wondering, uh, is that news to you or did you know this already? Um, kind of knew it. Uh, he, he, he said it before, so I was just taking that and, uh, yeah, just expecting a fight, you know, the one of these guys tonight, uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, the last time you fought was in February. Are you okay with this time off? Because we're used to seeing you fight quite often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with this time off. Uh, just been in the gym, working on my uh, more technical stuff, stuff I need to work on, and that's pretty much it. I mean, just waiting to see what happens with this fight, but uh, just trying to get better. So you're kind of here, obviously, to hang out, watch the fights, but you obviously have very much uh, invested in the winner of the fight, and you're going to be really watching it and studying what happens, right? You kind of study both guys, their styles, how they look, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, just, I pretty much know, you know, th their background and what the, what they do well. So just see how they perform tonight, and um, you know, when the fight when the time comes, just get my coaches together, watch film, and see see what we got. All right. So here's the big question: I'll put you on the spot. Who do you think is going to win? You know, it, it depends. I think if uh, Karin keeps standing, um, even though his game plan, which is, you know, doing those big shots, big punches, I think he has a better chance of winning. And if Brock can go out and, uh, you know, take Karin down, keep him down there, I think he has a better chance of winning. So it, it depends. Would you rather face one guy over the other? To me, it, it doesn't matter. To me, they're both, kind of, they're both kind of similar fighters. They're both big, strong, have a lot of power. So they're both kind of similar, you know, fighters in that aspect. You mentioned their size. Your last fight, uh, remind me, against Noguera, how much did you weigh? That fight, I weighed in like at 242 or 245, around there. Both guys weighed in at around 265. Um, when you do fight either one, will you look to be a little bit bigger to try to you know, match their size? No, I'm, I'm going to stay at what, where I usually fight at. I usually fight at 240. Um, for me, that that's where I feel most comfortable. I feel like I'm quick enough there. I feel like I'm, I still have my strength there, so... That's what I'm gonna stay at. Okay, and Brock Lesnar is obviously, in my opinion, the biggest draw in MMA because of his time in WWE. Yeah. Now, I mean, he's a lightning rod. Does a part of you, the businessman, rather fight him just because it will probably be a bigger deal if he's at the, you know, the top of the marquee? You know what? Um, I think wh whoever's a better fighter, that's who I want to fight. But I mean, he definitely does bring big pay-per-views out, and you know, that means more money. So, for me, that'd be better. But I mean, I, I want to fight the best. I want to fight the best guy. And when do you expect your next fight to be? Have they given you a sort of time frame? Would it be, you know, before the end of 2010 or would it be in 2011? Um, they haven't said yet. They, I think it, it all depends on how the fight comes out tomorrow, you know, if they come out, you know, really, really, you know, beat up and, they, you know, t need some time to recover to go back, then, you know, it'll be a while. But if they, they come back with, you know, no scratches or nothing, they're, they're good to go again, then I think it'll be quick. So we'll see. You obviously undefeated. You look very good in the UFC. Um, in your mind, are you ready for the title shot? Not so much, you know, skills wise. But would you have rather had a few more fights before getting the title shot, or do you think this is a good time? I think this is a good time. I think I'm I'm ready for it now. Um, you know, not not, not so many guys get, get a shot at the title, so I have it here. I'm gonna take. It. I'm gonna pro, pro, pro well for it. So. And a final question. Obviously, you look very good against Noguera. Very impressive victory. What kind of things will we see um, from you in terms of your improvements, the stuff you've been working on in the gym? Is there anything specific, your next fight, from that fight? Just try to get better on all aspects of, it, of MMA. That's what I've said, um, you know, all the time. I think I need to be a better boxer. I think I need to be a better kickboxer, better wrestler, better jiu-jitsu guy. I need to get better all around. Uh, sports always evolving so quickly. I think you have to be, um, you know, a top-level guy in, in, in each aspect of MMA now, so... Okay, Kane, thank you very much for the time. Enjoy the fights tomorrow night. We look forward to your next fight. Thank you.